morning, everybody. Pembina, North Dakota. The Canadian border is one mile that way. We had to wait here for border clearance. First thing in the morning, got confirmation that we're cleared across. The border's expecting it. Everything's all good. Paperwork's in order. All the ducks are in a row. So let's take our ducks and let's go to Canada. spoiling myself a little the last couple of days. I went out and bought coffee instead of making it myself. I still cannot make coffee to my greatest satisfaction. It's coffee. It'll do in a pinch, right? Where I'm in a spot where I need one and there's no coffee around, but it's just never as good as just buying it in a store. This coffee is pretty good from the gas tracks. I got nothing bad to say about it. It's not Timmy's. Timmy's is better. Uh, Starbucks is really good too. But you know, this is coffee that, it's always better when someone else makes it. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yes, and I spoiled myself with a uh, breakfast burrito. Sausage, egg, hash brown, potatoes, uh, cheese sauce, bacon. 419 American dollars, uh, probably about 550 Canadian. Oh. I am looking forward to you, my friend. You sit right there. And then I was really bad today, okay? I caved. That's okay, you're allowed to, right? These are my favorite Reese's. The fast breaks. And you can only get these in the US. I haven't been able to find them anywhere in Canada yet. <clears throat> They're really heavy. See, I mean, you don't wanna eat them every day, but I mean, maybe you do. I mean, I wanna eat them every day. I don't know if I should. That's a different. That's a different story. But I definitely want to eat them every day. Okay, we're all good to go. Truck is good to go. Uh, I'm good to go. Logbook's ready to go. We got to make our way across the border and get into Canada. For those of you new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I make videos all the time. Uh, there's playlists on my channel. Go check them out. You can follow my life. Uh, over the last 10 years, even more, over 10 years, 10 plus years, I guess I should be saying. Lots to catch up on. Of course, as soon as I start rolling, right? As soon as I start rolling, you're gonna have to wait till I stop now. Am I spinning? I'm spinning. Grab the pavement. There we go. There it is. See? Just want a little icy spot there. I-29 North. One more mile to the Great White North. Why is it as soon as I start rolling, everyone wants to talk to me? You're my witness now. It happens every time. Here I come, ready or not, Canada. lied to me said that I was gonna that it was gonna be minus 31 Celsius when I woke up it was only minus 25 I could have shut my truck off oh well 
Anything below minus 25, I don't shut the truck off usually because I want to keep the fuel moving. But minus 25 and lower with my engine heater, like I've said in previous vlogs, I usually shut the truck off for night. I guess I should say minus 25 and higher. You know what I meant. Canada Customs. I'll see you guys on the other side. Made it. Another load delivered. Success, it's a good feeling. Here's unloading me right now. I'm helping them uh, move the dunnage. So I have these like big, they're four by six by four pieces of wood. They're, they're used for like putting stuff on. It's sort of uh, like, you know, throwaway lumber, but it's, you know, it's like, they use it for dunnage underneath building projects and stuff. So, uh, they have these big four by sixes underneath the bundles. I'll show you here. And as they take them off the trailer, I take the dunnage and throw it on top of the bundle. They just unload it to help them out a bit. So they bring them over there. And these are the bundles. Four by six by four. So four by six by four. So when they take this bundle off my trailer, I got two guys working on me, one on that side, one on this side. When they lift the bundle up, take it down, lower it down, I move in and I grab these dunnage pieces and I throw it on top of there so that they can take it over there and use it as dunnage over there. That way they don't have to get out of their forklift just to move this. I can do that for them. Everything moves quicker for everybody that way and then I'm not just sitting in my truck being lazy doing nothing. From what I gather, not every driver helps out like that unloading. I would encourage you to do the same. I mean, it's up to you, but uh, it's always a nice gesture to give them a hand where you can, if you're allowed to. Some places you're not allowed to help, so keep that in mind too. And you know, I know it's not always possible, but it's always nice showing up to your customer with a clean truck. It gives a good image. And image matters. 
Some people will tell you it doesn't. Some people, to some people, it really doesn't. And that's okay. You know, you can still do the job without looking good doing it. I mean, there is no rule that says you have to look good while you're trucking. Who knows? Well, I mean, you run into them every now and then, you know. Make sure you're, you don't have to be clean shaven, but make sure you're well kept. Look good, smell good, and if possible, make sure your truck is clean, make sure everything looks good. Take pride in what you do, you know. Wear proper boots, clothing. Image is important, and it's not always possible in the winter time, like I said, but uh, we should all at least make an effort, right? We want to make this industry, we want to make truckers respected again. They used to be the heroes of the highway. And you know, we are the backbone of the economy. Without us, nothing moves, nothing gets sold or bought because nothing can move. And I don't want to say, hey, look at us, we're so important. Because you know, there's other people out there. People who build houses are important. Doctors are very important. You know, people who do your accounting are very important. Everybody's very important. So don't underestimate yourself and don't devalue yourself and don't devalue those around you in your industry. Because if you look bad and you smell bad, it makes all of us look bad right that's my lecture for today I wag my finger at you make sure you smell good <laughs> you do you I'm not telling you what to do I'm just I'm just saying things that I think might help us all you know it might help like speaking of being neat and organized you're looking behind me at my sleeper my bed isn't made properly my jackets aren't put away properly not good. Everything has its spot. Everything needs to be put in its spot. All right, let's get going. Come on, old blue. You did real good. Let's go home. There you are. Oh. So don't fall. Hold on, okay? I know the footage can get a little shaky. Never claimed to be a professional videographer. Well, I guess maybe you'd call me that after 12 years of doing it. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go this way. I want to go that way. Put on the blinky thing. That points that way. Okay. Then we take her wide and we make sure that our trailer doesn't get dragged over anything. Is it dragged over or is it drug over? Dragged, right? Dragged. I didn't drug my trailer, I dragged my trailer. Yes, English. Here we are. I moved the pickup outside and that let all the nice warm air out. So I've got my heater working hard right over there. It's gonna heat this place up just a little bit. Just relaxing for a minute, and then I'm gonna wash this floor. Cause look at this, this is embarrassing. I know it's only me in here that sees it, but that's one person too many. Look at this. All the snow and salt, like that's salt. Look at that. That's what melts off my truck while it's in here. And I washed it a couple of weeks ago. It's already back to this, so you gotta keep up with it. It's just in the winter time. Summertime is not as bad. Oh, yeah. well, I'm gonna put a, a layer of water on the floor just in the center here, just to soak it. I'm gonna put some soap in with it. And then I'm gonna mop it, get all that dirt and salt off the ground. And then I'm gonna push it all out with a squeegee. And then once that's done, I'm gonna rinse it again, water, and push all that water out with a squeegee again. That usually gets my floor pretty clean. If I wanna go like and be super fancy, I'll do it three times. I'll rinse it twice. But today I think I'll just do it the one time. We'll see how it looks. We'll see how it looks. I know no one else really sees it. Well, all of you see it for one. I'm on YouTube in front of thousands of people every day. So really it's not just me that sees it. It's all of you. And I just finished telling you how image is important. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy keeping things clean. You see those guys rolling down the highways that have a way cleaner rig than me, right? And you go to their house and their house is just immaculate. And uh, you go into, inside their truck and the inside of their truck you can eat off their floor, right? That doesn't happen by itself. They did that and it takes a lot of work. You can't be lazy. 
And sometimes I am a little lazy and I let it go too far, but not today. So this is what I call the soaking. No soap yet, just soaking it all. Especially the areas that were pretty packed in with dirt and grime and salt from the truck. Get it nice and wet, let that water soak into it. I don't know, five minutes. And then you go get your trusty squeegee right here. And you push it all out. So I didn't quite give you my strategy properly before. I guess it changes every time. First I soak it. Get all that hard packed on and stuck on junk out of here. And then I soak it again. Except that time, first I put a layer of soap down. Then I soak it with the soap. Then I clear that out of here. And then if I need to rinse it again, rinse it one more time real quick. Then you got a clean floor. Some real good dirt right here. You can see some of it is still dry. Ah, for some reason, I didn't soak that pile of dirt well enough. Look at that. What is that? It's just mud. Almost looks like oil, right? But it's, it's not oil. My truck doesn't. I check my truck every day. It doesn't lose a drop of oil. It doesn't burn a drop, doesn't lose a drop. All the oil in the engine stays in the engine until I take it out of the engine and put new oil in. We got most of the big heavy stuff out, all the junk. But the streaks will definitely be left behind. You can see around here, like it's definitely still not clean. But the big stuff is out. All the gravel, salt, bye bye. Stay out there where you belong. So now I soak it again with soap this time. Just give the floor a little bit of a scrub. Just give it a nice little scrub scrub. Everywhere, especially where it was caked on pretty good. Just get that soap all around. Get all the junk off the floor. You don't have to do it hard or anything. I'm doing it with one hand right now. Gotta keep it clean. You never know when someone's gonna pop by and say hello. Whether it be my dad stopping by from his shop, or the wife stopping in, or one of my friends dropping by. I have friends. I promise. Why are you laughing? I have friends. They might, might stop by sometime. I don't have a lot of time. I have friends, but it's, uh, it's tough to maintain friendships. Because, especially now too, I'm going to have a little baby to take care of on top of all of this yet. And i got a lot of stuff to take care of. I'm gonna be careful not to get the water near our stuff here, really, but at the same time, I wanna clean it all up. All right, and then do this, and then you push this all out. And then if you want to, you do one more rinse of the floor yet, and it'll be clean enough to eat off of. I don't need to do a third rinse. It'll be fine. It's gonna get dirty right away anyways. I'm bringing an old blue in here, and she's all full of snow, and all, uh, so no one, salt's gonna be back on this floor right away, anyways. But you know, you gotta keep it clean. 
like they like they always say you know every time you go to the bathroom you wipe your butt you don't leave it dirty so every time you bring the truck in the shop and you bring it out you clean it out don't keep it dirty okay i don't do it every time i should i really should sometimes i'm just not in the mood or i don't have time i'm usually in the mood i like keeping things i like keeping this place clean but sometimes there's just no time let's bring all blue in here let's bring all blue in here now that it's all warm again let's let all the warm air outside I need to get a power door opener. Ah! Every time it rains on my head. Yep, trucker draw stamp of approval. That's straight. Like I said, I just spent all that time cleaning the floor here and uh, look at all this stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to come here first thing tomorrow and uh, do it again. These lights under here, both weren't working again. Well, one of them was working. Let's see, put on my four ways. Put on my four ways and the marker lights weren't working anymore. I had to fix that, right? But then I realized that, oh, now they're both working again. What? What? Yesterday, that signal light down there wasn't working. See, this is why I got to take a look at it, because something's, something's loose in there. And then I have to uh, fix up this one or replace it, because the, the marker light, the signal works, but the marker light wasn't working. And all of these like screws in here, I gotta stop the flashing. I gotta show you this because I spent a lot of money on these like fancy little lights, right? They're, they're way overpriced. And check this out. Look at these little things. These are like a hundred dollars. And look at this. They use regular bolts. They don't even put stainless steel bolts or screws in there. They're rusting. What? Same thing on here, right? These were a hundred dollars each too. And they put regular screws in there, not stainless steel. They put stainless steel up here, or not steel, whatever, you know what I mean. See, they put the right ones up here, those ones don't rust. But down here, they use these ones that rust out and then the little rust goes down in there and stains it. It's like, well, <laughs> consistency, man. Quality, where is it? It's hard to find. I spent all this money on that stuff and it's like, <laughs> it's like they don't care. Oh well, that's my, my little frustration rant to you. I think you'd be just as frustrated. Look at this. Here too, these screws are rusting. And these are gonna start rusting too then, I bet. On the side, on this side. Why? I just bought these. Hashtag disappointed. Oh, I don't really like these anyways because they're not as bright as I thought they would be. I like them because they have the visor, right? But the visor part comes off. So I can take the visor off of this one, get another light that's brighter from a different brand, and then screw this visor onto the new light, right? And I don't know if I need a visor both ways, and maybe just forward, right? I don't know. I wanted it to match the, the, the visor on the front. Mm. Meh. Whatever. Wasting time thinking about this. Did I finish my Pepsi already? Mm-hmm. The drinks are always empty. Why are the drinks always empty? Okay, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Thanks for watching. Got all my stuff, it's time to head home. Stay warm, old blood. I'll see you soon.